Time to roll, people. It's time to roll. A lot of people are here. It's a good environment. If you want to set up here today to kind of showcase the community. Are you trading up just because you want to have that high end card to sell, or you just want to hold it just to have it? But is it prospecting, or are we gambling? Is it gambling? I took the perspective of I, I need to get to know more people and like have conversations with. Them. This is one of those things like, oh, you want to make this deal? I'll put you on my video. Like, nah, I'm okay. Y'all ready for Dr. Strange? Just a question. Yes, Ready, bro? See, and then he he had it signed by him. No, when they cut Darth Maul in half, I <laughs> literally yelled out. No! <laughs> if I would have known BGS has more value long term wise, I think I would have went that route. But do you have certain cards that you know you're gonna hold on to? Yeah, FD man, I'm in it for the long term. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? Let me find, hold on here. Let me find if my man, JD, is in the house yet. Let me see here. No, not yet. How y'all doing today? Been a lot of stuff going on in sports. You all let me know in the comments what you want to talk about. I'm very much interested. Um, I personally feel like it's been weeks since we've had this much material to really to really get with you got so you got Bronny. first thing i'm declaring for the draft second saying i'm staying but i'm going to transfer and i'm going to hedge my options and see what i can get done then you got uh caitlin clark iowa uh versus uh, south carolina very good game. Watched the entire game. I don't know what you thought about the game. Um, we got the NBA playoffs coming up. Most teams have four or five games left in the uh, left in the regular season, and then it's playoff time. Uh, Houston today lost to Dallas, had a three point lead, let the game get tied up, then end up losing the game. So that automatically eliminated from any playoff competition at all um after the warriors come out and play stuff whatever you want to call that and then you got uh you know you got other stuff going on i'm still surprised that boston has uh, won 61 games do you feel like you're watching a 61 win team i don't feel like i am um and the gap between them and milwaukee is bananas so the 14 games Something like that. It's kind of crazy. So, I mean, we'll see. If you just look at the paper, if you look at the numbers, it looks like the Western Conference has a lot of competition among teams in the East. Is when you get past probably the fourth seed, who's there? Let's see here. Let's see, see if my man JD is in the house. And I, I'm not really an Oklahoma fan. I went to a game in Oklahoma when Kyler Murray was last season. I went to a game, picked up a shirt. No, no, no. This is not from that. This is from this year. I went, picked up other shirts. Junior has one from that game. I went to Oklahoma playing um, a Saturday game down in Santa Monica, and I picked up a shirt with a group of people. So fun times, fun times. Let's see here. JD is here. JD, what's up, man? What's up, man? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm over a mess. <laughs> this ain't what's the play or the what's the play. Yeah, you what's up with your room back there, man? What's going on? Yeah, it's a mess. It's a tortano. Hold on. <laughs> look, look, look. He, he in the camera now. Look at this guy. J D, bro. My man J D. Uh what we got here? We got view layout. Damn, my room's a mess. There we go. <laughs> what, you, what you doing back there, man? What you doing? Throw something over something? Yeah, we, we, we're we cleaning a little bit. You oh, literally you zoom it in, so I was like, hold up. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I'm trying to change that screen. How you doing today, man? What what uh what, what'd you get into today? Man, we just went to uh we woke up early. We wanted to try the, the Palm Springs vintage vintage flea market. It was cool. I think nothing crazy. Did you buy something? Did you sell no. something? There was nothing really there. It was it was weird so it was it was all right it was we, 
we always wanted to go because it's like once a month, the first week of the first Sunday of the month, and we just wanted to try it. And it was cool. It was, you know, it's it's better to know not to know then. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta do that. Sometimes you gotta explore. You know, mm -hmm. no and explore some things. So I was like, man, let's just try it out. Woke up early, went over there, and then came back, watched some of the game, and and that was it. Watch a little WrestleMania. And then, you know, nothing crazy. Watch a little basketball. Team. This is basically just re relax. We got back like at two, took a little nap, and then that's that. So, what happened at WrestleMania? Uh, the, I just know The Rock won, right? But I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they won. The Rock came back and laid a SmackDown. So, we'll see tonight. I mean, tonight's going the big, tonight's a big night. So, we'll see how it goes. So, so hold up. This is multiple days. Break, break, yeah, it's break. night two. Night two is tonight. Well, it's and going so, on The right Rock. Now. Is the Rock wrestling again tonight? No, but he's gonna be, um, you know, around the around the uh, area. Make sure Roman Reigns uh, retains the title. So we'll see how that goes. So everybody, I was telling JD, I probably haven't watched WrestleMania yeah. since like <laughs> WrestleMania number two. two, two or three. We're talking about Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. That was the funny. He was like, "Yeah, WrestleMania two. I was like, "WrestleMania two. When was that, bro?" We watched that. I was all over that. I haven't watched wrestling. Man, it's been a long time. I haven't watched wrestling since maybe my early teens. Yeah, 1986, FD. Damn. That's a long, been a long time. Yeah, you weren't even born by the I last time born. I watched wrestling. Yeah. Man, but yeah, it's getting good. I mean, you know, you got Final Four, WrestleMania, NBA, opening weekend still. So it's it's a good week of basketball, good week of sports. So can't complain. You want to talk about what you want to jump into first? You want to jump into J. Cole, Kendrick? Uh, you want to jump into uh, South Carolina, Iowa? Which one? Yes, what, what you want to jump? Oh, I don't. It don't matter. South Carolina. I mean. South Carolina, man, I didn't think they were gonna win like that. <laughs> real deal. Well, they grind on you. They're a team that they're a real team. They've only played nine D, and all those nine can play defense and score. So they're grinding on you. Yeah, no, for real. They're definitely... Iowa was hanging in there, and uh, they played better to me as a team in that game than mm -hmm. any game I've seen in the tournament. It's just that I'm telling you, man. CC, she's special. FD, I'm sorry, like she's so. She I, reminds I me. She, go ahead. She reminds me of like Stephen Curry and Steve Nash. All like she makes all these play all her play friend like friends her um, teammates good like it's crazy. She can dish the rock. She she has court vision. She's special, man. But you know and, if you stay if you know if you stay in front of her. Yeah, it's a different, mm -hmm. different ball game. So we'll see how it goes in the WNBA. It's a little bit more physical, so. This and I think if, I know if I'm playing in the WNBA and we got oh, oh, we got Caitlin Clark tonight. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try to come with something. So we'll see. She's gonna mm -hmm. get hers though, man. You know I mean you? The average team cannot D her up all night. No, mm -mm. we saw that throughout the tournament. We saw what Haley did. Wasn't gonna happen. So oh, well, Haley did, man. Haley, oh my God, she was horrible, FD. Yeah, her defense was very porous. I don't even know what she was doing. It almost looked like it was a setup. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know why they throwing her. Like, ah, man, I would have just put um the rapper. What's the rapper's name? I don't know. Number four. Name? I would have put her yeah. on her. But uh, I think I think they were trying to get her to not get in foul trouble and do more scoring. So that's probably why they didn't do that. Man. But I would at least try it. You would have saw it. We got to do something. We can't just give up. What did she have that night? 41? Man, it was. Every, I'm telling she you, she wasn't getting that against South Carolina. Yeah. If she got it, she was gonna work for it. So, man, she just. I can't wait for a WNBA. See it, and that's like in a. That's like in a month. You well, know the, what draft, I mean? the, the draft is the fifteenth. Yeah, next week. Yeah, so she has to declare. Probably about today is Sunday, about Tuesday. She probably has to give her work. No, she she's already know. said she's leaving. So. I can't wait for that. That's gonna be crazy, man. But South Carolina Ooh. center, 15 points, 17 rebounds, three blocks. She a, she's a freshman, right? No, she's going pro. Oh, she's going pro too? Yeah, she already she oh. declared before the tournament started. She wanted to get all that hype out the way. She told people I'm out of here. Yeah. 
Well, you know what's crazy though is that nobody really talking about the the men's side. <laughs> the men's because side. I, I don't even think I'm watching that game tomorrow. Bro, we were at Trade Night last night, and FD's like, bro, look how many people are watching the game. <laughs> he said too, if that. I believe yeah, it's it. just not it's just not exciting, man. And you got to have a crowd. Purdue, they have money. no, they have no like, um, no storyline, no player, to, you know, no. to mark market around. No. Like their best bet was Duke going to the national championship. At least they got a little something going on. But man, that championship game is gonna be a snooze fest. I don't even think I'm gonna watch it. I'm not. I'm pro- most likely not watching. I'm it. not watching. I, I'm, it. I'm thinking Purdue is gonna win that game. I mean, they should with that big dude. That big dude, crazy. He's is he sad. transferable though? Is, is his talent transferable to the NBA? I don't know. Like, oh, I told you last night. If Walker Kessler can make it to the NBA FD, then that guy got a shot. Oh, he can make it. I just don't. What, let me say, I shouldn't say transferable because he can make it. Is he going to be successful? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He, he's not going to be able to stay on top of Wimby, so that's probably. I don't think so. I don't think so. Nah. I saw oh. Wimby kind of pull a step to that. He shot a three, <laughs> saw it five six of the way going in, and then tried to turn around and act like he was running down the court. Man. That boy, defensive player. Wanna, does Wimby want to be Steph, man? Who don't, I mean, everybody want to be like Steph. <laughs> really? <laughs> See, I don't hear people say that. Jalen Green was doing that thing the other day. Well, he was actually shooting a jump shot? Jalen Green over here thinking he got a jumper. But he really does. That's wild. Today, I mean, today when the game was on, he was trying to drive and still missing layups. How you drive and miss a layup? He was a bad boy. We're like, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't, they, almost, they almost beat Houston. I mean, they almost beat Dallas. I was like, oh, man. But my thing is this. Does it take Kyrie having 48 and Luka having 37 or something to beat Houston in the overtime? Yeah, that's the wild part. You need all that just to beat. Well, I mean, Houston is playing hot. But they out. Thank God they out, man. I'm tired of that whole. You knew they was going to be out. Man. I'm they, so that's tired the, of them. Their personality of trying to be like the tough guy team is like it's not it. What they what they try to take on uh, Dylan Brooks personality or something? Yeah, that's not it, man. So what's all right? So we got a we got a uh, flaw. Yeah, flaw Jay. Flaw Jay is the guard from LSU. We were talking about the rapper. Uh, Big John says Mania is getting good. Big John, I just haven't watched it. I mean, I need to get back in this thing. Chris has loved the shirt. Chris, yeah, I gave some background. So I went to a. I have a friend that went to Oklahoma, and I went down to watch the Oklahoma game during the season. Uh, and they it was a, like a club there, and they were giving out shirts, so I picked one up. Not not a big Oklahoma fan, but I respect the process. But I did go to campus and watch the game when Kyler Murray was in his last season. Oh, you were Kyler. there? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, how was that like? It was cool. Well, it's cool because the football stadium was sitting right on campus, which is not like any school, any situation. There's nothing like that here, you know. So. It's real. You're on campus, so it was cool. Wow. It was oh, cool. Um, Machado says, Camilla Cardoza, lottery pick. Yep. She is uh, – she's something else, man. She could be – she could be very, very good in WNBA. I'm looking at her, uh, how she moves her feet, her footwork, her release of the ball. She shoots free throws pretty decently. Just never know. Uh, FDJD, we roll and miss y'all, man. What I miss? Well, JD, JD, why don't you want to talk about J. Cole and Kyrie and Kendrick? What's your oh, I'm gonna get your thoughts, man. Oh, man, he did his thing on that. Out that I don't know if it's an EP album, whatever you want to call it. It was Chef's Kiss, man. I so love- do you know? So do you know? Uh, what's his name? Uh, damn, I can't remember. Oh, old school, older, older rapper, former rapper that now has a podcast. Camera. Oh, you're talking about Joe? Joe Budden? Joe Budden. Joe Budden tried to say it was a mid attempt of coming back. I thought differently. Uh, well, he said it was a warning shot. I mean, he was, <clears throat> honestly, he was just speaking facts, FD. You know what I mean? He just said, if you really want to go there, we can go there. And he, he I, was, I was like, I, I think his like best line enough. is when he broke down each album. To me, was his best was the best yeah. uh, 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 stanza in that in that rap. Because, but when Kendrick went there, though, didn't you know this was gonna happen? 
He knew this was going to happen. Is this just marketing, JD? Marketing. Yeah, and then Pussy said something along the lines like, <clears throat> we wouldn't be talking about you unless you start distant, which is true. Like, nobody really talked about it's Kendrick. Very true. Very so true. I was like, bro, that's... A, and you, know, you know, I like Kendrick, and that, that statement is very true. Yeah, and <clears throat> with Kendrick, though, like, I love Cole. I've loved Cole since forever, since 2007, 2009. But Kendrick is just more charismatic in terms of, like, the way he raps and all that stuff. So, of course, he, and he had a better beat. So people are going to, like, draw, get more drawn into that. But if you're going bar for bar, word for word, bro, F FD, Cole, Cole did his thing. You know what I mean? Like, he's not even close. But, you know, it's just so like the, the hobby. The came out, I'm clicking around. And I see uh, Mike Delete later, and I'm like, "Hold oh, up, is this new J Cole?" And then yeah. I pressed the button, and I was hearing the song. I was out. <laughs> then I, then I out. immediately, the way I'm wired, so for people know, I immediately went to to read the lyrics. That's that's this old school rap, man. Because every album used to come with a lyric sheet or inside the cover were lyrics. So I would get into the lyrics as soon as I heard a. Uh, I remember when I first heard Tupac's. Um, double uh cd all this stuff i listened to the lyrics i mean i was reading the lyrics first so i went to read and i looked it up online and read the lyrics and i was like man he's just, he's like coming off top rope on this guy yeah yeah he i'm telling you he went like i said j cole just literally really uh but word for word bar for bar just got him like it's not even close so i hope i hope this continues i wanted to continue honestly let's get it more you know you think Drake gonna get involved? Is, does Drake, oh, have man, the guts? Drake gotta get involved? He got. Does to. he have the guts though? Because nah. you know, lyrically, he can't do that. Yeah, he probably just sing. He'll just sing for the this. That's what he probably. Why do. did you diss me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, it's cool. It's it's good. You know, it's good. It's just like you know, it it depends. It's just like the hobby of the. It depends what you want. It depends what flavor you want. Isn't that the truth? listening to? Isn't that the truth? So, you, you can say that twenty times. Isn't that it. the truth? That's oh, funny because it seems like, you know, we've people have talked about quarterbacks. I just uh, wonder if people are going to start talking about other positions now. I mean, yesterday you heard it. I mean, people in the at train night was like, you know, CJ's going to be up. Who else? CJ. Um, people worry about Josh Allen. You know, it's bound to happen. The count, you know, some people, somebody's going to bring it up. You know, the you know, the Ralph Cars or Steve Blast, whoever you want to say. So this is always my question. Do we think a player and I'm asking the chat too, do we think a player is going to do well because we possess their car? I wish I had a car. Take my son's toy. So let's say this is Jabari Parker Jr., right? Because I'm holding this card, he's gonna play well? Mm, yeah, because I feel like when I'm talking to people, when you ask, "Hey, man, we think of Jabari Parker? Oh, man, man, he's pretty good, man. Got he can play some defense, man. He has jump shot and everything. That name is not the player." Then I'll ask, "You got some cards in this person? Oh, yeah, I got a few." <laughs> yeah. So, so which one is it? Are we looking at the player, or are we thinking about we got a card? Because in my mind, I can always I can split the two. I may have a card of a player of, of a player, and I know the player is not performing the way I thought they would perform, and I can acknowledge that. I'm not thinking that the player's attributes are greater than they are because I have a card of it. Mm. No, I agree. I'm in the same. I mean, that's what people say about me. That I'm just saying it just because I. I have the car, but I, I mean, I'm just blessed enough to have it. But I mean, yeah, but who are you talking about though, JD? That just because you have a car, like I don't know, I don't Kyrie know many players that I know. Who? Kyrie and Shay. <laughs> but I've been rocking with them for a minute. I'm just lucky enough to get something. Well, I say this, you know, you know, I try to keep it real. Kyrie is a future Hall of Fame. Yeah, hopefully. No, he's a future Hall. He's a future Hall of Fame. Have you seen the Hall of Fame list? Bro, yeah, that's they you got. You know Doug who's Collins. going in this year? <laughs> Doug Collins. Kyrie's a future Hall of Fame. I mean, Michael Cooper deserve it though. Oh, Michael Cooper should be in. He should have been in. You know, he's Pasadena's own, FYI. 
I didn't know he was from Pasadena. I met him once upon a time. I didn't dig him. Where'd you meet somebody? Where'd you meet him? I, I, met, I met, we were talking about last night. We went to the game, uh, to the LFC. I met Michael Cooper at a um, USC game outside of LA Coliseum. Mm. We were walking around. We were walking around. Michael Cooper is there. And I talked oh. to him. Took a picture with him. But Coop, man, the defense he played and what he did on that team and shooting the three. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. Yeah. But it, but uh, but Kyrie's a future all So you're not talking about just anybody. And yeah. uh, like Shea is, you know, coming up. I just hope that Shea is not so hurt that it's going to be nagging him in the playoffs. Nah, they said they're, they're, going, they're saying that, like, they're just doing that to get the third seed. But they got to play, though. Like, they got to at least play these last four games just to get back in the rhythm. You know? Why do they, they want the third seed? If so like, like, better? Yeah. I mean, I, if I were them, I would not want to play. Well, you <laughs> notice they're not playing Jalen Williams and they're not playing him. They both yeah. sit down. They sit down. Yep. So. so I'm okay with that. I mean, like I said, they got like four or five games left. How many games they got left? They got five. Should have four or five. Yeah. Because Dallas so. has four. And they finished it and they finish in uh OKC next Sunday with Dallas. So let's see how that goes. But they gotta so play. When do the playoffs? When do the playoffs officially start? Probably when? next uh, in two weeks. Not this not this uh weekend, probably the following weekend. So that following 20th. week is when we're gonna be playing games. Well the playing games will probably be like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then the, okay. and then so we'll see how that goes. I mean, they won today. Josh Giddy had 20. Man, it's crazy. Dude, the Josh Giddy got a triple dub today. But it's crazy that they're that deep. But I mean, they still have, they're missing, like, you know, lacking of, of a star without Shay. I'm saying the two people Shea. that have to step up is going to be Giddy and Chet. And it's be Chet. Chet cannot get bullied. Man. In some games, he gets bullied. If Giddy played like this, he had 20, 13, and 13. Like, what? But, but let's say his that. points. Let's say his points come down, which we understand they will. But his, but his, distri- but his distribution stays high. Yeah, that's all they his, need. And his three point shooting is consistent because he's been shooting a three well the last several games, and he hits his free throws. The OKC is going far. Yeah, they got to do that, and then <clears throat> I think the defense got to play a little bit stronger. And then, like you said, Chet, honestly, it start with Chet. If Chet don't get bullied, and they're able to like. Um, standard ground, I think they have a shot. Yeah. Because right now they're playing the Suns, bro. FD. They beat the Suns without Shea and, and J Dub. They, they probably might sweep them. And KD don't need that. And this is like a big series for KD and all of them because if they don't get past the first round, KD is oh, not going, Suns are not going far in the playoffs. This is going to be looking ugly. KD is going to be complaining and probably talking about leaving. Uh, they're not going far. He already started oh. complaining. Yeah, they got four more games. They got Sacramento on Tuesday, which is a they big game. Um, then they got that. Then they got a uh, what's this team called? I can't think of their name. The Spurs, Milwaukee, and then they end at Dallas. And then they got Dallas. So mm-hmm. that should be cool. I mean, Shay, they got to play these last three games, FD. At least play the last game just to get their feet wet. Because I will not feel comfortable if they don't play the rest of the game season and they go into the playoffs and they re- and then be like they look. Yeah, they probably do that. Probably wouldn't do that. Uh, so who's MVP of the league? I told you last night. I still think it should be Shea, but I mean he's not. He hasn't played the last ten games. But Luca hasn't Doesn't played. Doesn't matter. Otani didn't finish the year. Doesn't matter. I think it's more of the um, the MVPs like their whole season, not just what you're done the last two weeks. Yeah, you know? and I think he knows that. That's why he went. So let me get some rest before I start putting this thing back on. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I want him to win. I would really like him to win. That'd be really cool. But I'm sure he's thinking, like, you know what? I'd rather get a championship before I get an MVP. That's way more important. Yeah. I believe the maturity he has, he would say that. But I think he knows also 51, 30 point games. I mean, I I would be mad if if, uh, Jokic won it, but I don't know. I don't think Jokic is like an MVP candidate. I don't think think so. Mm -mm. We'll see. Should be interesting. 
I'm just excited. I think the, I don't know when the actual play. Oh, uh, I don't know when the playing will start, but it, it should be. Oh, they, I think they got it already. The playing will start the 16th or the 19th, and the actual plays will start the 20th. So next Saturday. The following okay. two Saturdays in two weeks, basically. So right now, will Golden State be playing the Lakers? Oh, yeah, that's tough. No, Golden State will play the Kings. Ooh. They'll beat the Kings. And then uh, and then who the Lakers play? The Pelicans. <clears throat> Man, Lakers I, are not, I can Lakers see the Pelicans beat. beating them, too, honestly. Lakers are not beating the Pelicans. I can see the Pelicans. The Zion is going off. Zion is in shape right now. If you get a jumper that day, somehow he gets a jumper, is over. Oh, he's not going to get a jumper, man. He's not at the end of the rainbow. He's not going to get a dump, jumper. Well, he's been playing so, well. But he'll be physical. He can be physical on everybody on the list. Well, I'd like to see him get physical with AD. He's going to bully AD. He's about to put AD in a blender. Hey, I want to say this, though. I, I uh, want to applaud AD for actually playing this year. He actually, didn't miss the game, huh? He really yeah. didn't miss that much. Yes. Actually being active. I, won that. I see I won that bet. Remember, I mean, he yeah. said he's going to win 50 something. And he also played well in games where LeBron didn't play, did his own thing. So okay. I like to applaud that man for doing that. Hopefully it goes into the playoffs. I don't think the Lakers can beat the Pelicans. Nah. That'd be, that'd be a crazy one. Don't let CJ get hot. Well, BI's out still, huh? Yeah. What, what is his injury? What's wrong with him? Mm, I don't know. He just hurt. <laughs> it's almost like when he found out that uh, what's the guard for the uh, pulling trailblazers? Which one? Uh, the two guard. Simmons or yeah, oh. Simmons. When he found out Simmons is having a child with his uh, baby's mama, he didn't play the same. Who? Bi. Really? Yeah, Simmons is having a child with Bi's child's mother. Yes. No, it's not. That's real. Go ahead and Google it, bro. I'm telling you. Ever since I've ever since I found that out, I, the dude looks different. But maybe it's just me. Oh, they are. What the hell? What in the? This world? is just like Jalen Green. Jalen Green's uh, significant other is like, yeah, I really don't want to be in a relationship with this dude. It must be a scary feeling to be in the NBA with no jump shot. When you would, would that be scary? That'd be scary to me. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, see, see, see how you look how you say you looking. That's how he's feeling. What the bro? That's dang. He's gonna have like a real brother, half brother. Yeah, that's crazy. She locked in for life now. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. Yeah, she's on both sides. Uh, Hero Three said the game reminded me of Bird. Versus Michigan? What is that? Oh my God! What's Bird versus Michigan? He went through. You got to break that down. Zach Eddy and Donovan uh, Clint Klingen going to be like Godzilla versus Kong. If anybody saw the last Godzilla versus Kong, it's decent. Yeah, it was I. Right. It's decent. Don't go yeah. in there, bro. Did you ever see uh, Godzilla Zero One? Yeah. What did you think of that? It was all right. Bro, I thought it was <laughs> phenomenal. All right. I think it was phenomenal. I just feel like they're getting worse for each time they make another Godzilla movie. Wait, um, Godzilla Zero is the one in San Francisco, right? The reboot? No, God, no Godzilla uh, Zero One is the one that's in Japan. Oh, the re oh, the oh, I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. Oh, you need to see that, JD. The newer one, right? Yes. One that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. About four or five months ago. You need to see that, sir. It's, it's well written. You got like three mm -hmm. stories going on at one time. One of it is about Godzilla, but it takes you to, because I've always wondered what happens when Godzilla comes and stumps everything up and walks away. It tells you that to, the, the, the impact on people's lives and what went down. And, you know, it's a phenomenal movie, man. It's not made at all like the, like Godzilla versus King Kong. Mm, interesting. It's much more than the destruction. It's about human interaction and, uh, a bunch of stuff, man. But I would recommend it. Junior uh, G and I saw it together, and we were all like, "Wow, this thing is." Jalen Green 
been cooking since uh risen up Dre. Yeah, but Dre, I don't know if she's looking long term. I wish them both the best. Wish them the best. Uh they just beefing because music is me it right now. Somebody needs to save music. It don't hit the same anymore like the nineties and the two thousands. I think that's for me. It's on, if you talking about rap, like you only got a few people really rapping about something. Yeah. Like, what right. are people laughing about right now? Nope, Cars, know. clothes, trips, jewelry, what drink they drank it on. Yeah, it's different. From, <laughs> it's definitely a different time. Yeah, no stories you. being told. Nothing will top that Drake Meek Mill beef. That was yeah. cool. What's up with Meek Mill? Did you see the video of Meek Mill telling The Rock to get up doing WrestleMania? What's up? <laughs> Man. That's everybody's childhood dream, FD. Me, me, WrestleMania? Meek Mill was probably thinking like, bro, that's like, that was me. I was in the same boat to get up. Meek Mill, what? How old Meek Mill? Yeah, three, 36. Man. You know what's funny? I was looking up, uh, you know who Emily, M Emma Stone is? Yes. So I was looking up her uh, her wiki for some reason. I don't know why. I was like, damn, she 36? I'm like, man, she old as hell. <laughs> and then I thought for a minute, yeah, I was I like, hold on, bro. 36. I'm, I'm 33, so if she old as hell, then I'm old. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that back. <laughs> yeah, I can see her being 36. Man, that's crazy. Great actress. Great actress. I got, I got, I, I get humble every time I think these um, actors are old. I'm like, bro, I'm just as old as they are. Yeah, think about I'm as old as people who have retired, been in the Hall of Fame for probably over ten years. Think about oh, that. Yeah, that's yeah. That's Everybody I grew up watching is either deceased in the Hall of Fame or been retired for a long time. Shannon Sharp, I remember I watched him. I remember his rookie year. Uh, I mean, I could just name players that that now are doing like Shannon Sharp was fifty six years old, and I remember when he was what I was like. He was in his early twenties. I was in my teens. It's just interesting, man, how life keeps rolling. Uh, have you when, met? Him? Have you met? Um, you look like you met Shannon Sharp. I've never met Shannon Sharp. I've never met. Him. Um, we'll probably meet him at some point, but I've never met him. I'm surprised, bro. We'll get to bopping around LA. You know, now that I live way out, man, like when I used to live around Santa Monica and Venice, bro, I saw people all the time. Oh, well, you used to live in Santa Monica? I used to live in El Segundo. Oh, wow. And then at one point, I lived in Inglewood. So I used to see people all the time. Oh, so you're, you live by, um, I live right by where SoFi Stadium is right now. SoFi Stadium, where I used to live, I could see out of my probably a window in the living room if I really? was still standing in the same, same apartment. It was right there. There's a park behind where I used to live, and right behind that park is SoFi Stadium. When I was living in Inglewood, they were talking about trying to build a stadium, and the racetrack was still there. That they oh, tore down wow. for the city. So I left Inglewood in 2009. Uh huh. That's when I moved to Detroit. So. Wait, so you went to Detroit? So you were in Inglewood, then Detroit, then you came back? Yeah. The hell? What were you doing? I would not come I back. Went from, I went from uh, Northern California to Inglewood to Detroit and then came back. As soon as I got to, I only went to Detroit for work. Work. Oh. Uh, like a, a build my work history. So when I went to Detroit, I was there literally two weeks. When I got to Detroit, it rained or snowed for 28 days in a row. Oh, hell no. I was so I knew I, I need to get out of here, but I knew I had signed up for two, two and a half years. And so I did two, two and a half years, and then I came back. Yeah, I would have yeah, left. left. I would have left, bro. I ain't, you can't tell me to stay out there. Oh, you yeah, know, it's a learning experience. The people in Detroit are nice people. Like, I used to go to Tiger games all the time. I used to go to uh, Lions games all the time. Everybody I sat by, good people. I got conversations with them and kick back with them, laugh and joke. Um, 
but I couldn't live there. I don't think I want to live there a long time. But I, I, I like the city for what it was at the time. They need to they need to replace Dodger Stadium. That's what they gotta do, FD. All these new stadiums getting built. They just gotta get that mm -hmm. that thing go. The only way they do that, I don't think they ever get ready. You think they get rid of the whole situation? Should you rest, they're going, I think you would have to move the Dodgers. Renovate the stadium and then move them back. I don't think you get rid of. No, they can do that. All right, that's fine. They just tore tore it down and I mean, do what the Yankees did: tore down Yankee Stadium and then make new yeah, one right. Yeah, across. exactly. Hey, I went to how the big the league. parking lot is, bro. That parking lot is insane. <laughs> yeah, I went to the new Yankee Stadium. I never went to the old. Oh, yeah, I, I wish I was. I wish I went to the old one. The new one is man. It's a nice stadium. I'm gonna make it. I, I want to go this year, but I'll just wait. It's cool. Nice I've been but there. where would they move the Dodgers to in the interim? Like, what what would they play at? Probably play at. Uh, I don't know. Probably play with uh, the the Angels. Well, they could build it as like you know they could build it as um they still play in Dodger Stadium. I think they should build a new one. They deserve it, bro. Like only I don't even think the Dodger Stadium is that iconic to the point where it's like Fenway. Well, you know what they could do because the Cubs, Wrigley Field, they renovated the Wrigley Field. They played there and then did a bunch of renovations when the season was over. They only did some when the season was going on. Yeah, they, they could do that. But, they but, could do that. But come they on, need to bro. do something. They need to do something. If you go to SoFi and then you go to Dodger Stadium, there's a leap in time. There's a what? Like a leap. Now you go to SoFi, man. Every, there's QR codes everywhere. Uh, you can get food to your seats. That, I mean, it's uh, that's crazy. It, the sound systems is like boom. The jumbotron is. You can look on the outside and the inside. You see the same thing no matter where you're sitting. You go to Dodger Stadium, man. It's you at Dodger Stadium. That's crazy. That's good. That's that's cool though. Because you know what I mean. Is it makes it more convenient for everybody. They don't really miss anything. You know, they don't miss any any of the site, anything from the game. They're able to just get the sit. And there. what I love about SoFi, you know, how you go to a sporting event and, you, and you sit, your uh, Wi Fi is horrible. Not at SoFi. Oh, that thing's premium. That's it's that like you at your house. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah, I, oh, I yeah. could text you, bro, call you, FaceTime you, and I'm at the stadium. Well, when I, when I went to Allegiant Stadium, it was the same thing. They had like the craziest food. Yeah, I mean, that's, compare that's, that's, when you compare that to Oakland FD. I mean, it's night and day. Well, Oakland Stadium, that's why they're moving. That stadium is horrible. Yeah, and then it's I, said, I told too. someone that worked the other day, I saw a game there. Bolger for the St. Louis Rams is playing the Raiders. And this is the year where Randy Moss got suspended at the end of the season. Our share was the head coach. So when I bought tickets, Randy Moss was still playing. By the time I go, He's suspended. This is a year before he went to the Patriots. People were saying Randy Moss would never be in the Hall of Fame, doing a bunch of talking. Uh, and I saw a bad game, but not only that, I saw it in a bad stadium. Like brick, you know, steps breaking up, chipping up, uh, seats old, concessions was like, it was just a bad experience, man. So the Oakland A's want to leave. I can go. This was. JD, I saw that game in 2008, something like that. And you got to think, we're talking about 16 years later. And then we're still talking about that state. This is when Golden State played right by. The Oracle Arena was right by. I never went to a Golden State game. Think about that area now. I've been chasing it all the time. Yep. But, yeah, that was us. We went the year before they broke down, broke down before they left, man. We played the Steelers that because my father in law is a Steeler fan. My, my my wife's family is like Steeler fans and everything. And I took my friend and his wife, man, of the the Steeler fans travel. But that stadium and that environment, oh my goodness, I would not want to go again. It is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Even being a Raider fan, I was afraid. There's um when we were going there, we took the Bart. We were talking to like this girl that was a Steeler fan. She was all hyped up. After the game, we saw the same girl in the in the train. She was crying because she got beat up or something. So I was like, yo, see, we got to go. We can't be here anymore. So that whole area, man. And then plus when you exit, is one whole exit to get to the bar. And it's like a big tunnel. Not even a big tunnel. It's just like a little 
like an average tone of you has all everybody got to filter into to get into the to the bar so i'm like bro that is insane just to to get in and out of that arena i'm like it had to be like a headache it's bad too like yeah that sounds so no, like what it's been open it's been open for like years and there's no like nothing like new about the stadium it's still old you could tell like the raiders like yeah we out of here like we're gonna go to vegas wherever they're gonna take us and go to the state of our stadium yep that's what you gotta do uh big john speaking facts here cole did his takeover one shots but if you do listen to the album because i've called some Bro, that album is over. Yeah, there are more disses and other songs on the album yeah that's just like you know that's just another example of like people putting what they want to put out there if they've listened to the whole album he's taking shots the whole album you know so again it's the, it's the same thing it depends who you're listening to it's true are y'all collect uh and grading vinyls i have not graded the vinyl man i didn't even know about that that was wild yeah i've heard i i, I couldn't name the grading company though but uh, i forget I, I, have heard a, about it. I have a vinyl uh j cole sign i don't know where it's at and somewhere in here when he did a i think it was kod he did like a buy it and he'll sign it for you but you know how long that took it took like three years for that to come through i think really? was, yeah hold on let me see if i have it in the car in the room hold on that's crazy three years but at least he got it it's a cold world people j cole people's champ you listen to the radio you don't hear any of stuff really but we all know who he is. I just want to see what Drake comes back with. He probably somewhere right now, writing and racing, and probably erased a hole in some paper. And I can't say that, man. I gotta come out of that. I can't. Joe Button said it was me. I can't come in. We'll see. Uh, Michael Cooper, WNBA Coach of the Year, yes, and champ should be in the Hall of Fame. This man's putting a lot of work in the game of basketball. You talking about D and three? All right. My I got something for y'all tonight. A little dusty, but it's all right. I haven't. So, I so tell, to... tell the background on this. How did you come about this? Oh, he, uh, hold on. Let me get to that one. But uh, let me find it first. But before I started doing cards, I start. Well, I still do this here and there, but um, I can do vinyls too. I'm out of breath. I got to start running. But here's one of them. Oh, that's nice. You know who, if you guys know college drop-off, Kanye West. Kanye West. Not his best album, but it's up there. It was nice. It was nice album. I don't know if you know who this is. Shady. Sade. You know, I love my smooth operator. Um, probably one of the best Kanye graduation. Oh, yeah, man. That's when I was a fan. <laughs> Could be a fan. Uh, I don't know. You guys know who Alina Baraz? She's like a yeah. R and B artist. Got a little the auto she signed. It was cool. Okay. I forget. I had you know. I forget. I have these things. Have uh, you played these? Has, yeah. Have you these? Okay. Yeah, I played them. Um, if you guys didn't know, before I was JD, I was a big Ariana Grande fan. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, she, I have all her on vinyl. That was one of my thing. But okay. that's you. Let's see more Ariana. This I'm learning about JD today. Okay. Some more Ariana. And then we get it, then we start getting into the good stuff. Yeah. Everybody J. Cole album right there. J. Cole's if you don't know favorite. about this album, people, that mm. thing is banging. Everybody say that's his best album. It is it's fire. This is debatable. And then this is the uh what is this? Oh, yeah. Right yeah. oh at the end. <laughs> Yeah, I've been following J. Cole for years. Then we got more Lena. Me and my wife. We got this one. Me and my wife um met her at um the observatory in Santa Ana. Man, when I when I left Detroit in 2012, we drove across country. I played J. Cole the whole way. <laughs> wow. More Ariana yeah. Grande. Okay. And then here it is. Well, that we can wait for that one. Hold on. Um Mac Miller, rest in peace. My favorite album from him. Really good. Mm -hmm. And then, I remember when I first met you, you were talking about him. Then the greatest Kanye album, My Dark Twisted Fantasy. Okay. I picked this up at um, the Rose Bowl flea market. 
I was like, bro, you because you can't even find this anymore. You know how everything's going digital. Yeah. And then. Yeah. And then I just looked this up, FD. This thing going for like three hundred bucks. I was like, hold on, what? <laughs> Since when? Three hundred bucks for that. So, so would you ever get those graded? I mean, I don't know if it's going great well, but just for fun, for the fun and giggles, yeah. You go. But yeah, I mean, when that came out, so the background for that was, when did that come out? When did um KOD drop? I think KOD dropped like, let me was, see. Wasn't it right before COVID? Probably. Hold on. Let me see when they dropped. KOD, J. Cole. I want to say 2020, 2019. 2018, yeah. 2018. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when that drop, he was with Universal, and Universal was um, you all you could go online on Dreamville, and then you it was an option to get it signed. But man, that thing took like two, three, two years or so just for it to go because they dropped the ball. Universal dropped the ball when they were doing the distribution. It took, they totally forgot that you know J Cole forgot he was supposed to sign. So it was like miscommunication with that whole issue. Yeah, I, I get it. Yep. And then I messaged them. It took like two. Like I said, two years for that to come through. And when it came in, I was like, what is this? I don't remember ordering anything. When I opened it, I was like, oh, finally. You know, it's, it's like waiting for a, a Panini Redemption, but worse. <laughs> so, you know, it's cool. It's cool to have. Andrew has one, too. Um, Andrew has the alternative um, cover downstairs okay. somewhere. Okay. Um, he's a big J. Cole fan. He won't admit it, but I put him on J. Cole just like in everything else. But, yeah, if I could get those graded like you said, I mean, you know, why not? It's one of those things where I totally forget I have I had them in the house. Well, you know, now. it's just like a comic though. If you grade it, you can't listen to it again. I know that's the only thing. Yeah, that's the only problem. That's, and when you listen to a vinyl and you play it on the vinyl player and you listen, and you hook up a speaker. I just feel like it just the quality is like a thousand times better. It's just like you know, it just feels real. That's how I grew up, man. If you wasn't oh, making yeah, a forty-five or eight track or LP. I don't know. And you guys had to deal with the with the cassette player. You guys had to hit that reverse. Oh man. Yeah, and then let your cassette the tape snap on you. Yeah. <laughs> or you listen to a record and it gets scratched and you don't know how. Yeah. Yeah. I knew people though that would take their record off, uh -huh. clean it. You talking about cars. They would wipe down, get a microfiber or something, wipe down there, and then put it in the sleeve. Like, there was a process. Mm. Those people, I never saw their uh, records get scratched. Just like CDs. Some people take their CDs and put them up immediately. Other people got them laid out. Then that CD gets a deep scratch. Sometimes uh -huh. you can clean it with alcohol. If you couldn't, then your CD is bouncing all over the place. Bro, I remember those days, man. When I used to have a PlayStation and everything, you had to... If the disc was scratched, that's game over. <laughs> you game over, bro. Alcohol, you gotta pray to God that didn't go in. Once you don't or see the logo, your, lose your memory card with all your oh. uh, <laughs> all your stats on it, man. Yeah, that was. Oh, your memory card just stops working for no reason. I remember. I, I was old enough to when they had the N sixty four with the cassette when you got to blow on it, and if oh, you yeah. didn't, man. Like yeah. See, I'm like old. I'm I'm pretty old now. A little bit. Uh, Machado says LeBron new podcast saving the game. I just, it, it, I don't, maybe I'm, uh, it's just hard for me to watch that. Have you watched Saving the Game? Man, I watch. I thought it's. I think. I think. How do I say this? How do I say this? I think it's good. I'm just surprised that it's not. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not. I don't. I don't know. Why I can't think today. What's the word? Advertise better. You know what I mean? Especially it's coming with LeBron and JJ. So I'm thinking like it should be getting like, you know, millions of views, but it's not getting the love that it should be getting, which is weird. Because, because to me, it's just odd. Like it's some of the stuff they talk about and how they talk about it and the drink, the sipping of the wine. And yeah. Just whenever. It's just, I think if LeBron was in, if he was in what's, playing, up, with the, what's up with the background? Like what's going on? It's almost like they have somebody's basement or something. Like, what's going down? They're like in the studio, huh? Like, and then LeBron all laid back in the seat. It's it's yeah. just a different atmosphere. Yeah, they and only got a hundred. He's called. I mean, the way he describes people is weird. Yeah, let's see. That's what I'm saying. They only got 184 thousand followers. Like, what? That 
LeBron's Dude, on there. Nobody, I don't enough. think a lot of people really want to see that, man. It's not entertaining. Cause you got it's it's backed by JJ. It's by backed by JJ's uh podcast and yeah. interrupted. Interrupted got 1.2 million. And the other one, barely, yeah. never mind. I'm telling you, I think a lot of people fear. I don't know how people in the chat where as we go through this, they can tell us. But it's just I tried to sit down and I don't usually most stuff I can watch. And I don't think I it has anything okay. to do. Maybe it's LeBron's personality. I think because he's still playing. You know what I mean? And it's not and who would have thought Paul George would have a better have a better podcast than LeBron. Like, what? Who would have thought that? And Paul Paul George yeah, got more personality. Like he he's actually sitting up in a chair. Let's say tonight I was just like, Yeah, well, you know, JD. LeBron's funny, bro. LeBron know what he's doing, FD. He ain't fooling us. Hey, come on, bro. It's funny to me, though, bro. This like when you start talking. When you start talking about Steph in that one episode, it's like yeah, he did. Uh, he different, bro. LeBron, like I said, he needs to. He should have waited till he retired. There's no point of him doing this now, like. That that podcast thing, that ship already sailed away for like NBA players. You gotta wait now. We have too much of it now. We got Draymond. Draymond's is cool because I feel like Draymond's more likable than LeBron. Do you know he's like, not getting views though? He's not getting views, man. Who LeBron? No, Draymond. He's not getting the kind of views that really uh these other podcasts are getting. He's not getting that. Well, I think well. But you know he's the antagonist, though, bro. So. Yeah, LeBron over. I mean, Draymond over here will kill somebody. Yeah, he's the antagonist. You know they, they don't care. About it. <laughs> Man, that's wild. what's funny is most of the season he didn't do anything. I know he was suspended and stuff like that, but he didn't do anything. And now we're getting close to the playoffs. He's like actually having episodes. Man. I'm surprised Charles Barkley doesn't do more. And what he did, but he, but Charles Barkley gets more of like he's cool. He's like the I don't I don't I think Charles Barkley's like really he, he's so underrated. You know what I mean? I oh, feel like him, that's why I think he could do more with podcasts. Him and Shaq he, really hold that hold it hold that um the inside. We well, you know Shaq day. revamped he revamped his podcast. So it's actually like this, that's what I'm saying. Compare Shaq talking about sports. To LeBron, but Shaq is more like more. How do I say? It? Like LeBron's played longer, but I feel like Shaq this gives you his storytelling is like really bad. Like I think he's that's personable, what it is. man. He's personable. LeBron, yeah. Is, oh yeah, he is. It's almost personal. like LeBron is talking crazy. down to people. Like y'all don't really know, man. Let me tell you. It's like, come on, man. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, but he was talking. He did give some kudos. I'll give him that. He gave some kudos to Jalen Williams, which as he should. I mean. Well, he's trying to trade for him, FD. <laughs> but my thing is this, though. LeBron's always acting like he needs somebody. Like, somebody needs him to sign off. Like, Jay Williams don't need him to say, man, you're playing. Like, okay. He said, I told him on the court, man, you're balling right now. You're playing or something, he said. Like, okay. No, uh, LeBron knows what he's doing. Bro. He talks about Jay Will, but then two years ago he tries to D up Shay in a All Star game where he's not playing defense on anybody else. Hmm. What is that? No, that's LeBron James. NBA probably uh, going to give it to the Joker. They going international and globalizing the game heavy. Uh, Shay is from Canada, but I want SGA to get one. He deserves it. They got to stay at the top, though. They do have to stay at the top. We'll see. We'll see. Whoever. Happy. Lakers get Vando back. People, Laker fans still talking about Vando? JD, you still talking about Vando? Mm -mm. I thought mm -mm. that shit they fail. It's like people start talking about Reeves again. Well, y'all look young and handsome. No, 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 Diddy. Do we, want, do we want to talk about Diddy? You want to talk about Diddy? No, I don't want to talk about Diddy. We about to get canceled. <laughs> yeah. Diddy, crazy. I will say this. Today is April 7th. 
I give it before the 4th of July, before three months from today, this whole thing will be, a whole bunch of information is going to be known, a whole bunch of names are going to come out. Diddy will not be on the streets. That's my thoughts. You don't really come into somebody's house, bro, with artillery in two states, two cities, and you're grabbing computers and everything under the sun to just let that thing fade away. It's not fading away. And when you see Diddy, have you seen the videos where he's like out bike riding? And... Bro, man, his stuff is crazy. He has a serious look on his face. I wish him the best. I wish everybody the best. Especially any uh, known or confirmed victim in this process. I wish them the best. People making uh, good money off the fans trying to park closer to the stadium by parking in people's driveways. Oh, especially by USC, if that's what you're talking about. First couple of times I went to USC, I wasn't in the parking lot. I was in somebody's front yard. Really? You never been to a USC game, JD? No. Oh yeah, you're, you're at least back in the day. I don't know if they built more parking now. I'm in front. I'm in somebody's front yard. And then after the game, there's a party because there's people are kicking it. So very festive. I've probably been to three or four USC games That's great. since I've been in LA. You know, Strasburg, you know, Steve Strasburg, uh, Steven Strasburg retired. How you feel about that? Well, that's Remember good. The hobby going crazy over this guy? I wasn't around when the hobby. Well, this was about 2009, FD. Come on, yeah. bro. Oh, well, hobby was going crazy over this guy. I believe it. I mean, I can only imagine because I remember everybody was talking about he was the next biggest thing. Yes. Then, then he, he got hurt. Then he got hurt he his rookie back, year. He fought back to get in that World Series to be MVP, but. I remember their thing. He had the greatest arm ever. 100 easy. Now, now everybody over here hitting 100 like with nothing. So, man. Uh, I remember his story. I said, y'all got to share y'all thoughts on the Altani home run ball. The fan missed out. So, I this is what I said on Instagram. Because, you know, people, I get into autographs. And I get into the game used. So, okay. he gets to, What I want to say in front of Dodgers, though, is that you know he was going to hit a home run. So, why do you have protocol? I'm about process, man. When I'm at work and stuff, I'm about process. So why would you have a process set up? So he hits home run, she catches it. They offer her two caps, which is like nothing. Two autograph caps, cool, but it's nothing. Uh, then she says, "Yeah, I want, I want that and more." So they give her autograph bat. To me, the autograph bat is the bomb. That bat is actually worth a lot. It's not worth as much as that ball. But how can you go authenticate the ball? So so everybody should know that once you have a rare item or if it's game used, the piece of paper that authenticates the item is what a value is. It's not in the item. Let me repeat that. If you get something from a big auction house or if you have some piece of paper from PSA saying it's legit or if you have, uh, yeah, these auction houses, the paper is coming with it. That paper is worth more than the item. If you have the item without that paper, you don't have much, if not anything. So there were a lot of people in the comments saying, "Well, I would just take the ball. You don't have anything." So if I if I went to the if I went to what's the what's the sporting goods place here? I went to Dick Sporting Goods store, and I bought ten official Major League Baseballs, and I got some Mississippi mug because you can order it, people. I've done my research. You can order Mississippi mud that they put on Major League Baseballs. You can rub that stuff in yourself. And I'm going to put my 10 balls next to that 11 being the one hit in the game. And I scuff up my 10 like in the game. You don't know which one is which. So that's why Barry Barnes, Major League Baseball, did this. When he was about to break the record. Oh, they, they put, put something on the ball. Yeah, yeah they put something on the ball that you could see on the ultraviolet light to authenticate the balls. So you knew what they were. And they would grab the person immediately. And they were, I think they were even giving out some paperwork if you want to keep 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 the ball. So everybody out there that said, oh, man, I kept that ball. You'd have had memories? Yes. Secondary market, that ball would mean nothing. So, yeah, I would take glove, hat. But this is what I would have did, J.D., in my child. 
I would have said I want I want I want the jersey that you're wearing today, or I want a game used jersey, and I want that thing done. Now, JD, you give me paper or not, I'm pretty much good because the jersey itself is going to authenticate the jersey itself, the tags that's on it, all that stuff. You can't replicate. I mean, you could. I guess you could, but the likelihood, the size that he's wearing, the stitching is correct. I pretty much got my my cert. If you don't want to give me one in the jersey, then I'm gonna get it signed in a way that is unique, and I'm gonna take a picture with you, being Otani. So I'm gonna walk away with my COA. <laughs> That's what I would have asked for. But average person in the sands kicking it. She had they showed the video. She had a drink with her. She's not thinking about that. She's just trying to like. But I thought it was a smart move that she asked for something else besides the caps. But I almost say shame on the Dodgers for not having the process in place on how to handle that situation. Mm. Mm. That's my thoughts, Machado. But they have stuff like that, that where they have, they have like auctions, I guess. Like they get random ball, like random, like baseballs to like fans. And then you can look it up on the QR code and it'll show you like this ball was like a foul ball from FD. Yeah. But see, that's, but that's your cert though. That's your uh, certificate of authentication. That QR code and the website. Yeah. That's but, I, uh, but I mean, but if it's clearly a, she got video, she got proof. I mean, what else more would they need from but that? that? But you know, we live in a time, bro. That video is not going to authenticate that ball. That's crazy. You got to have more than that. That's crazy. So, like, if you if you're bidding on something big, that's why PSA is so so big, bro. Let, let's say I get, let's say I get Aaron Donald to sign a card. Mm -hmm. And I send in the PSA and they slab it for me. And they're gonna the cert is now in the, the slab. Yeah. I got my QR code, I got my website, I got a number. I mean, everything is right there. These people have said third party is top of the line that said this is real. That's what you want. But if I woke up to you with just a signed card, unless you know autographs, and you can look at every how they make the O, how they're making the N, what how the, is the D connected or not. Is there a slant with a right-handed or left-handed? Is this legit? If you're not doing all that, and most people are not doing all that, you just, you don't know what you got. And even there are some times that you could have an athlete sign. And let's say their stroke is off that day or they're in a rush. PSA mm -hmm. has kicked some stuff back saying it's not real. You might send it to Beckett. They might authenticate it. But that has happened. But athletes actually sign, and PSA is like, no, nah, don't look like anything in my database. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not putting my brand out there on that. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. I what did, what did she get? She just got like. I'm, I'm just, just surprised though too. Otani is think of the PR. Like who's on his PR team? Well, don't bring that up, FD. <laughs> he saw his integrity. <laughs> think about <laughs> putting putting gambling aside. <laughs> Just think about if somebody said, "Hey JD, you hit bring bring I hit the ball, you call it. Let me bring you back to this room. Okay, let's have social media take pictures of us, even me signing stuff for you." Cuz what made me think he had a strong PR team I was telling somebody that this weekend is remember he struck uh, Otani struck out Trout in the WBC, right? Uh -huh. Remember they got those three cards, those yeah, top fire, fire, fire. and they yeah. got them slabbed. And they did a ten. But remember they remember they took pictures with the interpreter and they put that stuff on social media. So I'm thinking Otani has a PR team. You should. I mean, bro, when you when you're the highest paid baseball player, about to be the highest baseball player ever, like you better have Well, I'd PR have a PR team, team bro. PR that that person would have been everywhere. brought back. You'd have been given white glove treatment. You'd have been brought back your whole family. I'm taking care of everybody. There would have been pictures on Instagram, pictures on Facebook, pictures wherever of me uh -huh. taking care of you. There would have been video. We'd have been posing for stuff. Yeah, you would like meet, make a wish foundation, meet, huh? Yeah, you <laughs> would meet with the ball. Make a wish foundation. Bruh, you'd have been taken care of. People would have walked away and said, that's that's top class right there. Not like, what, what is this? Why, why the Dodgers? Do? It's almost Where's strange. the Dodgers, FD? Come on, bro. What'd you expect well, anything? Don't less? talk about the don't talk about the next world series champs like that now. Ah, I can man, the Dodgers are horrible. 
trash. I don't care anything. I don't. I like them. Yeah. All right. We got Jenny Marie in the house. Jenny, what's up? What's going on? Pete says, "Evening, fellas. Uh, who you got tomorrow night?" Pete says, "I'm really. I'm not really. I, I, I would be surprised if they don't I'm get a roll of dice teams. and say Purdue. Purdue is going." I'm telling you, do not do not be surprised if that's one of the lowest watch games ever. That's because there's no draft pick on that floor. Yeah, there's no story. There's nothing. And the kid from NC NC State, uh, what was his name? Jr. Um, DJ Burns. Yeah, DJ. That is that guy in the in. Oh, we we talked about this last time. Yeah, he no. He, you know how much I found out how much he made in the last three weeks through NIL. He made a hundred k. Yeah, they ain't. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. I'm happy. Oh, he, for he ain't gonna make the league. I don't I think him, so. I'll soak up all the upper endorsements I could get right now. Yeah, because yeah. he's gonna be known as the NCAA player for years to come. Yeah, then he's gonna play overseas, you know. So uh Joe, what's up, Joe? Good to have you here. I always appreciate your support. Good evening, fellas. Question How do you feel about white, black? box one one values i think about this all the time if i couldn't this is me real quick if i couldn't get the rpa i wanted or the car i wanted uh a white box one one or a black box one one will do uh -huh. will i will i get on ebay and search that out no you can't I'm find spending, those i'm not spending 10 grand on that when i could spend 17 or whatever it may be on the card I really want. I'm just I'm not doing you that. You saw that. You, you, oh, I didn't show y'all, but I I don't got it yet, FD. But man, that's the, the Scotty Barnes one. You know that one's gonna be. It's not a. It's not like that one though. But Is that so, a white box card? No hell no. That's, yeah, a, that's a real deal. That's yeah, a real that's deal. A, Holyfield. Yeah that's, a, yeah, that's not a white box card. But I'm just saying, like that's a legit one of one. But um, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know why they have those one on one boxes like that. It's because that's customer sticker. service. Bro. That's PR work and customer service, bro. And when you're printing something, you're going to print more than you need. So let's say you have 99 National Treasures. You're going to print more than 99. No, for sure. I believe. So it. you have these laying around and you want to do some custom service work. To, yeah. Somebody didn't get a send in. Or, yeah. Take care of them. That's crazy. They take care of them with some value. Yeah. So that's what that's all about. But Joe, you gotta let us know what you think. I wouldn't be seeking it out. No, I, I, I rather have the the real one of one, yeah. where it's like the one of one is um engraved. That one's. And fine. I only say that because to me, the one of one black and white fall into the same thing as a great rare card of a player in a college jersey. Mm -hmm. Once that player goes pro, people, everybody you're showing that card to is gonna be like, "Yeah, it's a great card," but and I just don't want that. Yeah, that's the that's the Caitlin Clark effect. So you know my theory now, JD. Oh, I think all of her Iowa cars are going to drop. Yeah, it's going to drop until it's she gets drop her. Stiff. Yeah, and people right now are looking for her Indiana cars when they come out. I, know. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I am too. I am too. Yeah, I think I think those ones would be great cards. Yeah. I want her auto. I just want. I don't know. I don't know if Panini's gonna let her. If Panini's have the rights for the auto, I would love to have one of those autos. I know it's gonna be pride, but that's gonna be the first female, besides like Sabrina in the last few years, that's gonna have like hype around her card. People are gonna be but like, she yeah, has, I, and she's gonna have a real card. Like you go back to, Aja Wilson. Those cards are not. They don't have the eye appeal. Just, yeah, yeah, it's a lot better now. Yeah, 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 the design's a lot better. And you go back to Candace Parker, that stuff doesn't look right. Yeah, they don't even have like Candace Parker and um Brianna Brianna Stewart have like Ridden House or whatever, Ridden House yeah. house, something it's like that. That's an off brand. Yeah. Yeah, so she's got the hype and she's got the right cards. So those are the cards people are gonna uh, people the people are gonna be buying hobby, WNBA Prism, be talking about let's rip this. Like that's gonna be crazy. If they able if they if she's able to pull that off, FD, or she she brought it up to the WNBA than anybody else did in the last 20 plus years. Like this, all that hype. And but let me just ask this. Did anybody really think she was going to win today? I thought I, I thought she had a shot. I, but when I was I watching her, I was like, well, this, 
South Carolina is just too like. Yeah, they got two overall. Balls. They coming at she you. She had to go on a run. How much she had today? Like thirty or something. She had thirty some. I think thirty one or something like that. But she had to work for it, man. That's something you can do with a player on her level. You gotta make them work for it. That's and they crazy. made her work for. It. She had seventeen in the first quarter. Uh, yeah, it was eighteen, right? And plus, yeah. like, um, I'm telling you, she makes her whole team better. Like, she she, she does. But watch what happens to the Iowa program after this. It's going to go oh, back to where the sure. Iowa program was. Yeah, for sure. I, oh, yeah, she had look, she had thirty eight and five. Like what? And then the game against yeah. UConn. But what, she but had, what did she shoot though? What was her shooting percentage today? Yeah. yeah, she shot thirty six percent. Damn, that was not that good. Yeah, she, she didn't shoot well, but she had to she work. Made it, they made her work though. She, she shot really twenty one percent when Raven got on. Her. Yeah, she had a really. She still had a good game to. She had that's how that's what I'm saying. Like she had a decent game, and they still almost had a chance. Well, not almost had a chance. She no, they still had a chance. The game. the game was close at one point. They had a chance. So I mean, I just can imagine when she goes to the WNBA. Now the WNBA is a little bit different. Less teams, more the talent's more equal. Except for like you playing the Aces and like the Liberty. But other like than I, that, I think I t- did I text you today. Somebody, I can't wait to plum plays her. Oh man, you see her Tarasi. Tarasi's like, bro, reality about the hit for these kids next this year. How about you see, but 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 did you see? Did she notice how Tarazi kept dropping that reality? But you know who she's talking about. Oh man, Tra- but if this was younger Tarasi, maybe. But come but on, did you, but did you hear? Also, Tarazi said, "I don't understand why people are so enthralled with these young female players going to the NBA. Yeah. But once you establish your career, they forget about you." Oh, you, that's just like a hobby. This is- yeah, but who? But who is she talking about? You're talking about <laughs> Caitlin. All that's of right. Them. That's right. But they need these type of players to like come into WNBA. It helps everybody out. Well, they what they need is the aces to get on get, get the three P going. No, I don't know about that. JD, we need to go to Vegas see again. I'm not watching that. <laughs> JD. <laughs> no, I was gonna go to the, the I regret not going to a finals game. It was cheap. I regret you know, ne- this year coming up, like moving forward, if I'm able to make it and it's like I'm gonna sacrifice a few hours of sleep for it, man, I'm gonna do it, man. Because there's a lot of events. Hey, this is what I would do. Yeah. To see an aces game, I would fly in. Watch the game fly out. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to do for uh, the finals one. The finals, they had a game Sunday. I was going to go in there uh, Saturday night, watch the game, and come back right after the game, like, at 3. But, man, I regret it. Because, like, those tickets – and everybody's like, it's a WNBA game. Like, yeah, it's a finals NBA. No, WNBA bro. I game. think it's this year different. I got to get to Vegas to watch. Two things I want to do. You know, I want to do my two set with Golden State Warriors. This is not, I don't think this is going to be the year, but I, I feel like I got a two step coming for, for five championships. It's coming. And I want to get to uh, Vegas and watch the Aces play. That was a big good one, too. I want to go like that. We'll see. Be uh, big but, John uh, says, Machado, if the player wanted the ball, MLB won't authenticate it. I just think that's interesting. Why is that? It's got to be some. I want to hear somebody from the MLB tell me why is that. MLB tripping. MLB does. Are, are, they, are, they, are they thinking that somebody's going to have a fake ball and then try to switch it out really quick and then get the other one authenticated? Like, what are they thinking? Could, couldn't you put something on the. Maybe they want to manage the headache. Maybe they think it's a headache. I believe it. I believe it. You knew within the first week Otani's hitting a home run. You knew that. Yeah. NFL like game it. footballs have chips in them. Yes, see, smoother songs. NFL games are easy authenticated. That's probably one thing uh, NFL has over MLB right now. Easily authenticated. Yeah, they got to be able to, like, get with the time, bro. They got to understand – the players and the players, the fans want to get as close as possible to um, the game as much as possible. You see what Tops is doing and everything with the player yeah. patch and everything. Like yeah. the MLB, the NBA got to get with it. They should really just start trying to bring back tickets. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Make it a lot more like. 
Um, Let me ask you a question. So we know logo man. You know the cars that have the gold patch. You know the patch that's above the logo man. Where? Oh. On the back of an NBA jersey. Oh, the W, the the championship. Yeah. The trophies. How many championships those, they won? But those cars don't sell as high as the logo man. Oh really? I don't think so, do they? Oh. You know, you see cars with just that gold patch. I think, I think they, I don't think they have the value of the logo man. I just That's thought about that. But yeah, they just they implemented that to the jerseys like a few years ago, and I thought that was a good trend. That was really cool. I agree because I saw the Rockets and Dallas had it on today. I was, I was checking that out. So Pete says, "Isn't Eddie a draft pick?" I don't know if he is, but I don't know if he's a first round. Mm. I don't know. I think I know enough about his game. Personally, I value the white black box the same as the card it was printed on without the number and definitely not the value of the true 101. I.e., I have a Burl 101, but printed like a out of 25 would value that. I just don't know if the market does that, though. Those white blacks don't carry the same value as the other 99. That was crazy. Hmm. I know back in the day with Fosa McGuire, they have chips in those. But, yeah, they did a lot back then. I wonder why MLB is just walking away from that. That's a reason. <laughs> MLB, they're just stuck in the times, bro. That's all they are. There is a reason. <sighs> Man, interesting stuff. What other topics do we have tonight? I'm trying to think about missing something. I don't know. I mean, this train that was cool yesterday. It was nice yeah, ride. Yeah. Thought it was good to go to bullpen. Kicking it in the gun, though. <laughs> well, I guess what, let's just ask everybody what they think. Remember I asked you yesterday how much you think you need and to start, like, a, a store? Oh, a, a store? And, you're thinking, and I was saying along the lines of, like, 50 to 75K, and then you're just, like, you got to think about the whole... Um, renting the, the space out, and I think that's going to cost more than the whole thing. You think that's like a reasonable number, or depends on like the location and everything? I think if I personally think it's going to be more than that. How much is your inventory? That's another thing. That's what Andrew was Andy was telling me is like you got to come up with like inventory and like things to get people coming to the shop and buying it. I was like, bro, that yeah. makes 100% sense. And then you're buying a lot, hoping like you know, it'd be something else if I knew. Let's say you had the shop for 10 years. And I'm, I'm trying to open the shop, and I'm picking your brain. So I know uh -huh. kind of what to order. We're in the same city. I know what may drive foot traffic. Like, I don't know. Like, what would you order that might just sit on your shelf? And what are you ordering that's moving? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That would be such a tough, tough decision to make. Would you put, like, your, your collection out there just to get things going? Like, just I, I think. I would, I would think if you're opening a shop, you got to be all in. I've talked to people who have opened shops who have so liquidated their whole collection to open that shop. I would think you, you're you not. Yeah, but Burbank's the only spot that I know that like buys buys at a high rate and buys everything. Yeah, they're, yeah, like their percentage is a little, you know, 60 to 70 percent or whatever it may be. But, I mean, they take everything off UFD, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then you're saying, like, but they have the history to do that. They know they can move. Yeah, it. I think they're they, have, they can move the product, so they're not worried about. It. They know they're making a profit on what they purchase, and they're going to move it, so they're not worried about that. And they, and they, right. they, they probably. I don't know. I haven't talked to Burbank. I, I, I just think like, what would a business owner do? I'm sure they have different avenues. So they got you and I coming in buying some. Um, they got they eBay. website. They got eBay, and I'm pretty sure they got some wholesalers. So. If there's some cars that are tight and hard to move, been sitting here for a while. Everything has a chip in there, has a number, I mean. Yeah. So they yeah. know how long they've been sitting in the back. Yeah, they know they've been sitting 30, 60, 90 days, whatever it may be. And they know they can give it to a liquidator to give them some percentage. So that stuff is not just sitting around. And that liquidator may be selling to a person that does whatnot or some other source. So I'm pretty yeah. sure they have a way of moving cars and getting a profit out of them. So. They just gotta have a, they have to have like a source of uh different income or not incomes but ways of just getting rid of the cards. Mm -hmm. like you said. If you uh, got that locked 
But think about all the relationships we're talking about to have that. So a new person coming in, you got to find out, okay, how am I selling cards? First, I got to establish a website. I got to get my eBay business right. Okay, what am I going to do on foot traffic? That's why, to me, a card store, it's almost like opening a restaurant. It's yeah. tough. That's tough. Tough. That's the tough business, man. I wonder what's like the longevity, the average longevity of a of a shop is now these days. Like honestly, like you think is what? Well, all the ones years? here, all the ones here, I know are still open. There's one. Yeah, you know what? The ones that I've like caught up with is still open. Like Mania, still Mania cards. Um, LA Sports cards just opened up another store, so like I feel like they're doing well. Bullpen's doing well, you know. So I guess. Hold on, I where, where is the second LA? You talking about Glendale? No, they have a third one now. Where? Somewhere in LA, in Glendale. Hmm. I'm sorry. Got to look that up. Okay, happy for them. So they're doing good. It's just I don't know, FD. It's pretty cool. See how it goes. I mean, I really want to know, like, because there's little. Uh, oh, Average Rose is still going. Mm-hmm. There's like I want to know like what is like the average of sports, so um, the sports star show, um, sh- shops going when they first open. JD, I, you, are, will that be a JD shop in the future? Um, I don't know if like when it, it sounds cool and all, but it's just one of those things. Is just like man, like I don't know. But I always say this though, like I mentioned this last time to you, to start out with one, create an online business. Yeah. And then try to draw business through that, give yourself some data points mm-hmm. on what people are buying. And then you know, hey, if I want to open a shop, it might take this, this, this. At least I know what I'm selling right now. And I don't have that monthly overhead on it. Exactly. Because all that stuff, like at um, Bullpen and all that, they have like tons of wax. So, like, come on, bro, FD. Like, what are the chances of them moving all of that at their, the price they're looking at? It's really hard. They probably have to move it at the sales or something. So like yeah, I will. But you, but you know, also mention them. They gotta, like I just look at them. They're pretty savvy, savvy business people, and they have relationships. So, yeah, no, I agree because they break all the time. Like they do whatnot, they go live and break. So they find ways to get rid of everything. Yeah. So yeah, I will. I mean, I will. If I were to open one, like I told you yesterday, I think it wouldn't be like a. I wouldn't want it to be like a um, like a shop. I probably would want it to be like more of like a. An area where people could hang out, like do, like what what Jeff is doing, I guess over there, like you know, host shows and everything, and then, like probably sell a few stuff here and there, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like probably like have like a room where they could do like um, breaks and everything. You know what I mean? Just try to be a supplier in a yeah. different way. Yeah, I got you. So I don't know. I mean, everybody. I Andy brought it up to me. He's like, you know, that's like something like we should try to do. But at the same time, if it is this like, like. The question I always have is like you always tell me, where do you think the hobby is gonna be in two, three, four, or five years from now? Is it still gonna be relevant? And then look the way it's going, it looks like it's gonna be relevant. Like if you people do their, you know, bring other people in. I brought in a friend, brought who brought his friend in with his kids and they had a good time. Like if we all find a way to expand the hobby, it'll be here for a, a lot longer. It's just, I just don't know if that's an investment I wanna like put my money towards in long term. Yeah. You know? yeah that's something I'm afraid of. That's the only thing I'm afraid of. I that would love to do it. I feel. I mean, like I said, if somebody want to give me a shot to be the manager at the shop, I'll do it. Like, I feel like I could do. I feel like I can make some things going. Because I mean, yeah. there's a lot of opportunities that these shops have now. I don't know, like you said, the overhead of everything that they do. Like, how much is what? Trade nights. Like, why don't they do it? Events, tournaments, like 2K tournaments, Madden tournaments, anything like that. Like. I don't know because we don't know what's exactly going on behind the scenes, you know. So, but I think I think it all boils down to what's your core business? What do you do? Exactly. And, and it's hard would like to manage that. an event and run your business. And I think that a lot of people go with the "I'm gonna run my business." Mm-hmm. I idea. agree. I would I would like to go into like a uh, a partner like somebody like like has like business like you said like core business values like have an idea. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, like, those will 
I would like to like have somebody that has like knows nothing about the hobby, nothing knows about the knows nothing about the hobby, but is willing to learn, but is like business savvy to the point where like it's I could you know like point that out, point that out, like okay, let's do this, let's do that, blah 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 blah. That'd be cool, and then I bring in somebody that knows the hobby pretty well. That I, but see, that's the one thing that you have bring in that whole thing is trust. Oh, you gotta have a relationship and trust them and know them. And this is why a lot of people in the hobby get burned because you yeah. think you know a person and you really don't. And then, like any situation, you know, you can move in with a roommate and find out someone. Oh, about bro, that's it. crazy. But he's just paying bills. Now you get dollars involved and investment dollars involved. It's a whole nother ball game. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. That but Charles says, Machado says, Big John, I don't know, man. The woman got fleeced. Low ball offer with the W. Uh, that would have never happened at a car show. People hate low ball. Well, Machado, you do know. I don't know about what JD thinks, but I go to some shows. I see some low ball offers all the time on cards. Mm-hmm. You said low ball? Low ball. Oh. You don't see that? Do you see that? What, that the shops are lowballing them? No, I'm saying if you go to a show, uh -huh. do you see people making lowball offers? Even if you go to a table and you want to sell something, sometimes the offer is low. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. I don't lowball people. I mean, I, I, I'm fair because I don't want nobody lowballing me even when I'm at a show. So I just be I just try to be your honest as possible. Like really I think people possible. try to find out if you know. Do you know the count? Yeah. I think people try to find that out. So I saw a post the other day from Jeff Wilson, Cars HQ. They have kiosks now in the store that tells you the comp of the car. Mm hmm What do you think of that? That they have the uh, that they have the what was it again? I, the, they have a kiosk in the store that tells you the comp of the car. So if you're buying a car for two fifty, it tell it tells you if that car is really two fifty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You think that's cool? I think that's pretty. Easy. I think it's quite cool. You walk in, you could just search it, but I mean, instead of talking to like FD or me, but man, hold on, let me just see this here. If they have it, I'm like, okay, if it's raw, can I look at it? And it makes sense. I'll get oh, bro, that's a lot easier. It's like going in and out, you know. Um, it's like going to like McDonald's now or something. You can yep. order your stuff at the at the uh, kiosk machine. Very true. Smoothie says, "How often do you go to an LCS and there's more than six or seven people in there?" This oh, is what this is why you got to have your different avenues because I would assume that the average person walking in is buying within a certain price frame range. They're not coming in and spending so much in the frequency at which they come in. You know, uh, how often do, does someone go to Home Depot? How often does someone go to Lowe's, go to True Value, go to their favorite restaurant? That so, no FD. <laughs> you can't compare, you can't compare Home Depot to <laughs> like uh, Hobby No, shop. I'm just saying, oh. I'm just trips. So I'm just saying, what makes you get off your couch and get in your car and go somewhere? So it's the same thing with the LCS. So the people, the six or seven that are coming in, that can't be your core business or you will be closing your door. Mm -hmm. It has to be coming from someplace else. You got to be online or maybe you know some, because I would think that's tears. You know some whales yeah. that you're probably selling to. All the way down to the person that comes in and says, Hey, what's this? I just learned about sports cars. You got to be able to sell all the way through. And then mm -hmm. you're successful. Other than that, if, you, if you're just relying on those six or seven, that's going to be a problem. Mm. Yeah. Machado says, JD, bring back those car shop videos, man. I know. That's so crazy. Huh? I miss them immensely. Remind uh, me of sneaker shopping. People want to see you, man. Uh, Joe says, do you think there are any value in keeping a car in a BGS 8.5? Yeah, if the car is rare. You should you crack it, bro. If I would crack it, for you. 
So if you had a one on one that was eight point five, or one out of five that was eight point five, or one out of ten that was eight point five, you crack that out? Yeah, it depends. I would like to. Hold on, well, I, I would just say, is, is the condition of the card already in the slide? What do you see? If it's really rare, that eight point five is not a problem. Mm -hmm. It depends. I, really I, 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 I prefer. Oh shit! I prefer. Uh, I prefer uh, PSA over B. I'll take a chance and cross it over. You know what I mean? I respect it. Uh, you, FD, you should be watching this WrestleMania right now, man. This main event. Oh, I know something, something's over there distracting you. Somebody gets <laughs> stamped through a table or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. This, no, I see you wiping face. And, man. Bro, this is going crazy. It's the main event. I'm sorry, FD. I got up. No, so <laughs> that thing is going crazy. <laughs> oh my god! Because they, they're saying like the main event's gonna be like the Avengers Endgame, and you know, oh, and, it, and it's looking like it. <laughs> and Big John over here talking about John Cena in the building. So I had to check it out ASAP. <laughs> oh, I see Big John Cena in the building. That is crazy, but no. But re regarding that, I'll, I'll take my chances with. Because that um the one of one as um Scotty Barnes we got is a SGA SGA nine point five. Right, I'm gonna crack. Oh, you saw it already. I'm gonna crack it and send it in. You know, probably worth it. It's worth a crack. Hey, I say this, people. Go back to Joe's comment. Take risk. Yeah, do you gotta take that I risk, bro. Risk. Just don't whip and snip. But if you looking at that card through the slide and you see this opportunity. And maybe you get a professional. If you get somebody that actually looks at cars regularly, you get uh -huh. their opinion or somebody in the hobby that you really trust, you get their opinion looking at that slab. And you see opportunity, I would crack that slab and see what's up. You, JD, you know I've had situations. And I know you've had situations where you crack the slab and your grade has gotten better. Yeah, uh, that, that old time is like a perfect yeah, example. Yeah, sometimes you have to take a chance. As soon as I got that card back, though, I was not, I was not settling for the grade that I received. Machado says, "Whoever want to open a shop, just copy Cars HQ, but do it <laughs> small and have to work after like Burbank. Take uh, the nice uh, take blueprints from Rob and his Burbank shop. Burbank does an excellent job. Shout out to Rob. Excellent job. Never been there, been disappointed. Always get good customer service." Um, Machado says, Make car shops great again. Somehow, got to take the sneaker cons and got souls of the world and bring more life to car shows. Machado, we need to see you again soon. Let me see you in a while. When are you gonna pull up? That's what we are. Uh, make car shows great again. Someone got to take the sneaker cons and, and get souls. And I got you. Uh, he says, Hit the like button. Thank you, bro. Chat, appreciate y'all, all 14 of y'all, the real MVPs. We on the 1-5 right now. But I added, and you know who you are. Thank you for being here. <laughs> y'all seen Jeff and Mike? I got to watch this. And Mike, I, I haven't watched it. Is it good? I haven't, watched, I've been watching, I've, been watching, I've been watching content the last two weeks. I have not seen this. I saw the thumbnail. I haven't watched it yet. Jeff put clips, but Mike was asking 21 questions. I bet you Mike was. Mo, Mike was asking him 21 questions? That's what that's, I think that's what he's saying. I think something major is going to happen between Mike Rubin and Cars HQ. I'm telling you. I told I, I just thought, even when I was in there, this is the beginning of something. This is not the end result. This is the beginning of something. So I wouldn't be surprised. Why wouldn't fanatics have a retail arm to what they're doing? Can you imagine they teamed up? And, and why did Jeff get extra space? Because that whole place is mobile. He could condense this, add that at any time. I noticed the fix. I get into stuff, man, to the Nats ass and stuff. So I noticed the fixtures and how stuff was situated in the store and if it could be moved. I even asked a few people, could you move this case? Oh, yeah, no problem. That's, you, know, you don't get extra space to just get it. You get extra space because you build building or something. And this is why when I heard people saying, oh, his store is too big. Like, well, you don't know the business model. 
Right. I never understand that about the hobby, man. We analyze business, and most people that I've met, no offense to anyone out there, are not analyzing businesses every day of the week. Uh -huh. There are people that give out funds, that give seeding money, that fund ideas. These people analyze business models all the time. That's not what most of us do. We don't do that every day. But we, we look at someone's business. JD wanted to open a shop, then I'm gonna come and pick it apart. And I don't really know what his end game is. If you don't know somebody's end game, yeah, it's not even worth it. I don't know what's up with that. Gabe says, How are you doing today? I think I'm doing well, Gabe. How are you? And how are you doing, JD? JD's in the house. JD's chilling in WrestleMania, gigging over there. <laughs> it was really oh, good. Harrison. Cody did it. What did Cody do? He won the championship. They're going crazy, FD. They're going crazy out there. <laughs> Let me ask y'all this question. I hate to be the, the, the killer because some people say pro sports in general is staged and scripted. But you know as you watch this, this is scripted. <laughs> right? It, it probably is, but... But it's still entertaining, right? It's, it's one of those things where... Um, as a kid, like it just brings you know, I don't know if they like I, I feel like we're in a good time. Cards are doing well, NBA is doing sports is doing well, and football and and WWE is doing well. Like, what else can you ask for? You know what I mean? Like, it's a good time. That's what I'm saying. It's a good time to be in the hobby. You got baseball, basketball, WWE, all these things going on. But yeah, it is. I mean, whatever. I tell myself it's not fake, but. It is what it is. Well, it's all good because even when I used to watch it a lot, I know it was fake. Uh, it's all good because I think sports, I think it's some part of, part of sports that's predetermined. Joe says, Reason I asked is traded into a National Treasures prodigy. Jamar Chase went out of 25. Since National Treasures is so hard to grade, was thinking what to do. Like I said, if, if you, you're willing to take on some risk, I try to be calculated as possible myself personally. I would crack it out. I would look at it first in a slide and I would get some opinions about what other people think. Oh, but, but don't let other people's opinion detour you if you feel compelled by physical right. evidence that you see or you want to take that chance and crack it out and no, see if you want to get it uh if you want to get it uh graded someplace else. Yeah, you. I mean, the good thing about being in LA, everything is that um, we're surrounded by really good people that know their stuff. Yeah, you know, card, uh, slab doctor, and all these people. So like, you got a lot of resources, which is cool. I. I... Hold on. Now, Machado says Caitlin Clark single handedly saved sports. I don't know Machado. I don't know if I if I will personally uh, sign off on that. Uh, I think it was fun to watch. I think she added sauce and flavor to the women's game. Uh, I think she added sauce and flavor to sports. I don't know if she single-handedly saved it. I got to let Caitlin Clark, because J.D. knows me. I, I like to let things, let's let it happen. I got to let her get to the WNBA, show me what, what's going on. Uh, I think she has the ability to do that. Mm -hmm. I just want to see it. Uh, like, I don't know what Wimby is right now. He's shown us a lot. He has game. But that's something called longevity. That no, has to happen. Sure, 100%. And a, lot times, and a lot of times we forget that. We get so we get so charged up. Let's get some longevity going on. Yeah, no, I was hyped. You know, I, you told, I told you, I was hyped the last week, two weeks of her in the tournament. It was just like. The stuff she's doing is just like, bro, like, she's bringing that to the WNBA. Like, who's the last person that did that? That's true. Sabrina don't even bring that type of juice to the, to the league. You know what I mean? That's true. And the I'm best player and the best player in the WNBA is a big, is, you know, Stewie and Stu, uh, Wilson. You I know? mean, I want to see her with Boston. I want to see her play in Indiana with Boston. Who? Caitlin Clark. Oh, Black. you know Leah Boston from South Carolina play last year. Oh yeah, that'd be crazy. Yeah. yeah, you gotta think she she came off the bench yeah. with South Carolina to get to the championship game, so and she can play. 
Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, so I mean, now Indiana's gonna be popping FD. Like, bro, what? <laughs> since when did Indiana's been popping? Since PG was there. So what we gotta do? This is what we gotta do. We gotta see when the Sparks. Hopefully, they play the Indiana team. We gotta go check that game out. Man, I was gonna. You know, what's crazy. I was looking buying season tickets. Okay. Something, something was. I mean, it was not. Now, to me, I don't. I don't know how um, expensive season tickets are, but to sit kind of close on the hundred and one where the uh, visitor sides are. Mm-hmm. Like a um, like under a thousand for two tick for three tickets, for the, for fifteen games. So I was like, bro, that's like sixty bucks. So I feel like that's pretty solid. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not so, crazy. But I didn't. I I backed out. I didn't. I don't know. It didn't. I was. I don't know if it was like a. I don't know. I still got time, but we'll see. We'll see. Cause I I want to do it. It sounds like are oh are they? They're not playing as crypto this year. I don't think. Oh, they are. That's weird. Oh, I was. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. I thought they were playing at crypto. Who? Where are you at right now? What are you saying? Oh, they. Okay, so they played Indiana, May twenty fourth. But they're gonna be at Long Beach. Are they gonna be at Long Beach? Yeah. That's a little bit of a drive, but it's not crazy. Or in Long Beach. I Are you see. looking something up right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the... Uh, oh, okay. Like, I don't even see. I, don't, I thought you was in the comments. Yeah. Oh, they only come one time. It's in, in Long Beach, May 24th. We need to be there. Bro, I would love to see Clay. I got to put my eyes on this. So, Machado, I'm just giving you my opinion. The numbers show viewage, uh, uh, viewership. I agree with that. But I can't go and say... I'm Just so you know, JD knows me. I have zero hype in me. <laughs> I have zero. I have zero hype. I don't get all caught up and start running. I don't do that. I gotta sit and see. Because a person's career to me is like a extended experiment. There's yeah. been a lot of people that come out the gates doing something, splash in the pan, and then later on something else doesn't happen. So I gotta just see what she's going to do. She's about to transition into a professional athlete. She already has tonight. So we just got to see what she's going to do. Um, but I'm just giving you my opinion. I mean, I respect yours. Uh, she got me and going crazy, and the sports betting people love it. You know she's going to have a, a shoe. So that's coming. Oh, man. Sabrina, about, they about to fight for the shoe. Yeah. I told JD the other day, I think Caitlin Clark and uh, Angel Reese is going to be Larry Bird, Matt Johnson all over again. It's iconic for sports. I'm not disagreeing with that. I that's just don't know she saved sports. That's that's big for me for yeah pretty that's big. Gonna be crazy. Machado said I need Sparks to take Angel Reese. A lot of people are saying that. It'd be great for LA. Right now, some of the experts have her going to she's man, like top, top ten or something. I got her like five or six. I can't remember what team she's going. They thought she's going to though. I can't remember. I think no, uh, I can't remember. I would be mad though if Sparks took Cardoza. Cardoza can play people. Six seven. She came through and cleaned up the rapper in that one game. Not condoning any violence, but she cleaned up <laughs> three. He said the rapper. Yeah, she took care of that situation. I think uh it was Chicago they had Reese. It could have been. I think you're right, Machado. Going to uh, I could be wrong. I think it was like Chicago or something like that. It was some place that I thought, man, it'd be cool to have her come to LA. Who? Angel Reese. Oh, man. Oh, bro. If she got came to LA, she would not be playing. You know that. You know, she would be playing, man. Bro, she'll be an influencer for sure. She's going <laughs> to be an influencer no matter what. You announce you're going to the WNBA with a centerfold layout. You are. She's marketing, man. She's already thinking on that level, and I'm I'm happy that she is. A lot of dollars to be made, a lot of influence to bring. Uh, I think she's going to be great. I think her, Caitlin, Cardo, all these players are going to be great for everybody to look at. I know we like to say little girls. It's great for little girls, but I need Junior to be seeing some stuff too, checking some stuff out. I need Robert and Greg to be checking some stuff out. So, Well, they got a lot of uh... – you know, it's only like right. I feel like it's only gonna be for right now. I think, and then we'll see. 
if they could if they could take it to the next level, then we'll see. But Junior and G, Junior and them got like, a lot of guys, people to look up to. They got Cooper Flag. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, bro, hold on, see this. <laughs> what I'm talking about. We gotta, we gotta see. I have not seen a jump shot from Cooper Flag. They really hyping this man up. Bill Simmons was talking about it. he's gonna yeah. Be like, they have Mac, my team. You know KG. they're gonna play off his last name. He's gonna be a American flag. It's gonna be some kind of nickname for him. We just gotta let that guy play. I'm telling y'all. Somebody tell me. Send me if you see this. Send me a clip of flag shooting the jump shot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I just see it. So, J.D., you were talking about working out earlier. I don't think I've been working out the way I want to work out, but I have been eating right, and I've been trying to get more rest. Uh -huh. uh, I think for a while now, I probably put rest in the back burner. I'm always doing something, so now I try to chill out a little bit. For you? You'll be chilling for a minute? Uh, I've been to less shows. And when I'm here, I try to make sure I'm only doing what I, <laughs> something that I really need to do. And I try to make sure I build in time to to do nothing. Mm. And I wasn't doing that before. I was always doing something. Yeah, you just got to prioritize everything that makes sense. Yeah, it makes a difference. Like right now, we're hour and 46 minutes in. I still feel good. A lot of times we get to this point, dude. I am exhausted. Oh, for sure. Exhausted. Right. Shout out. I love it, FD. I don't go with the hype either, but man, Caitlin Clark transcended so much just in college. But like you, I can't wait to see if I can bring it uh to the W too. Yep. It's definitely a golden time as well. It def it is. It is. But you know, you got these guys going one and done, their skills are Almost in a trash can. Uh, mm -hmm. Can't feed the post. Guys coming out highly rated. Don't have a jump shot. Um, they got to go to the league and learn. This is including Watson. You play three games in college. You got to come to the league. You got to learn. But I don't even know how to get around that. I've been thinking about that lately. Like, you got to think long the ball came. Had to change the jump shot. There's so many players you can name. For me, um, he's only played organized basketball for two years. I could, You could go down the list of players who the NBA now has to develop the player. It wasn't like that. Yeah, Back college did that for you. Think about Shaq, his rookie, what, his freshman year and sophomore year, was behind Stanley Roberts. I don't even know who that is. Yeah. Very good player. Got caught up in some stuff. Took drugs. Left the team, Shaq started balling. But Shaq, early in the game, early in his career, was behind that guy. Think about if Shaq came to the league at 18 years old. You don't have any of these games. You don't have up to 90 games under your belt. Now you got to come to the NBA and get right. That's what a lot of these players are. So they struggle or they have up and down games. They have one game where they shoot pretty decently or they score well. Then other games, they, they alter the defense or watch the film on them. Then they struggle. So the consistency is not there. So then, but how do you how do you get around that with one and done? Yeah, and then they get all this hype going into the league thinking like, hey, the next yeah. coming. Think, think about Grant Hill. Grant Hill played 30 some games a season, went to the NCAA tournament. He probably played 36 games a season. For four years. Then came to the NBA and then started balling with Detroit compared to some of these kids who may play 30. May play 30. And like Lamelo. Lamelo went overseas. I don't know. Who was his coach? Do you know? <laughs> I don't even know. What kind of what kind of program was he in? What, what how do you get trained? What do you do? Yeah, what is the shenanigans? I don't even know. Lamelo over here, man. Who knows what's gonna happen with Lamelo? He might you know, get traded. You know, you know what's gonna happen with Lamelo. You want me to give you the cliff notes on Lamelo? About to get traded. He's about to get traded. Nobody cares about his max deal. 
um, Brandon Miller's gonna take over that team. Uh, and you thought were you, were you surprised um, Brandon Miller is playing really well? I'm surprised he's playing the way he is right now. I thought it would take year two, year three, something like that. I'm surprised he's playing this well that, right now. His jump, his jump shot is coming along. I think because he's not getting no like. Um, he's not looking over his shoulder at anybody. Uh, what's that? Yeah, yeah, he got nobody to worry about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm I don't gonna, think. I don't think any of those ball boys. Lonzo or Melo, I don't think their bodies can take the NBA, man. I don't they got low extremity genetic issues. People are not going to talk about that. And he doesn't have a um, – Brandon Miller don't even have a a, a Prism auto, huh? That sucks. No, I've only seen Prism. No. Only no. Uh, only the Twins have one. Uh, I think that's it. I, I can't think – oh, and Keontae and Case. Yeah, but I can't think of – who 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 was number two? It was Wimby. It was Wimby Miller. Yeah, I don't think anybody had a. Yeah, that sucks. There's no, and I like chasing the autos, the rookie autos, but yeah, Sco- Oh, Scoot has one. The Twins have one. I don't know if Anthony Black has one. Did you see? Did you see? Uh, our man push someone. Got ejected from the game. He pushed somebody. It was either today or the other day. He pushed someone down under the basket and got ejected from the game. Really? I didn't see that one. Hmm. Hey, man, I like to see people not be violent, but <laughs> don't, don't, just don't be there. Like, if some, you feel like somebody's doing something, you know. Look at the guy was trying to hold him. He wasn't having it. Uh, who is Kylie? Kylie played seven. You know Kylie? Kyrie. Ky- I think somebody. Oh, Kyrie. Kyrie. Yeah. Check yeah. out the great John Ronjo episode on all the smoke. He drops some knowledge on what's going on in the NBA players trying to be hoopers. I will watch that, Machado. Thank you very much. I like the podcast and I love me some Ray John Ronjo. Yeah, he's really good. He's special. For sure. Machado said he put on a diet plan. He's looking like DJ Khaled in the summer. Oh, I guess. Okay. Next time I see you, man. DJ Khaled. That's funny. Send them to the G League, huh? We'll see how that goes. Machado says, I told y'all international players going to be running the league one day. They are. They're, run- they're running the league right now. I mean, if, you have Steph- if you don't have Steph Curry and LeBron and uh, and uh, Kawhi Leonard, I mean, who? Uh, what American player are you talking about? LeBron. The elite? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Machado says, don't sleep on Scoot. That's when I just want to see more from Scoot. Uh, I believe he still has opportunities to improve. Y'all, he had some good moments this year. He did. I just hope he stays locked in. I hope he doesn't let the uh, all-time record for uh, negative plus minus ruin his appetite for the NBA. Oh, FD, he said, FD, no, I said, put me on your diet plan. So what I try to do, people, is have protein every meal, cut out bread, pasta, rice. This is all filler stuff. I'm trying to eat any of that. Um, if I'm going to have a dessert, have it like once a week. And I only drink water. So I drink water every day, all day. And I uh, we have an unsweet iced tea if I go out to eat. Try to do stuff like that. Try to make sure I don't eat after seven. Um, after seven, it. bro. It's like you ain't gonna eat after this. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try not to. Mm. If you eat after seven, bro, what time you gonna sleep? I don't know, like ten. <laughs> yes, I feel like ten's I. Like, that's like a. It's okay with me. Like if I go past ten, eleven. And we sneak, and then we start sneaking to twelve. Oh yeah, we it's one of those days, big. <laughs> it'll be one of those days. But I started um drinking green tea instead of like I usually don't drink coffee or any caffeine when I wake I up. I thought you say something about you left the bobo though. I left. Oh no, I lied. I had a bobo the other day, but that's that's neither here or there. But um, <laughs> but um, what's he gonna tell you? You got me messed. Um. Instead of drinking all that, I just I started drinking green tea, and the green tea is like I feel like it's a lot better in terms of like it's more uh, organic with the caffeine. You don't hit like a wall. You should try it. It's pretty cool. 
And it's cheaper than getting like Starbucks. It's at Trader Joe's for like one ninety nine. Yeah, I well, refuse, like, it's like this uh, big. I'm atypical. I refuse to go into a Starbucks. Probably like bigger than that. It's it's a really good. It's cool. Like one ninety nine. 218 plus tax, like it's cool. you, you know my idea on Starbucks. I tell April all the time. She shakes her head. Starbucks snatches everybody's retirement plan. Oh, I believe it. If you thinking about retiring at a certain age, do not go to Starbucks. Yeah, those little ten five dollars a day yeah, like, here and there. They add up. Throw, throw a growth rate on it. This is how I think, people. I don't mess with that. I don't know the last time I've been in a Starbucks. It's been years. But I'm a na- I'm a person that naturally I don't need I don't drink coffee. So Yeah, I don't drink coffee either. Like I just tell I tell my people, I just I tell everybody at work, I just wake up, take a shower, and I'm ready to go. So am I. I've been like that since I was a kid. I go yeah. after the shower, I'm ready to go to school. Ready to go to work. I don't I don't need to. And I feel like if I'm getting too sluggish, I need to change my diet. Uh, Machado said, what time is your last meal? I'm shooting for 7 o'clock. I'm trying to get it right. You can get it, man. Just take it day by day, meal by meal. Don't think you got to run through a wall to make changes. They can be gradual. The thing is, is make sure they're consistent. Mm. Yeah, just try to. Yeah, you just got to try to just be consistent, like you said. Drink water. I drink water with, like, uh, lemon. Here and there, that's like that's all I drink: water and lemon throughout the day. And then I try to, I try not to eat heavy until like that night. I don't really eat. I try not to eat during the day. But me, if I am going to eat heavy, I try to do it before three o'clock. Damn, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a like a bigger lunch or something. I try to do it early in the day, and then I'll come home sometimes at night if I've had a, if I think I've hit my, if I've hit my calories. Then I may have fruit for dinner or some kind of, I'll call it something from the ground. <laughs> and, and also, I don't think I need to cook every day. So, or well, I'll tell people don't cook for me. And, and it helps me out. It helps me my body just settle down. Uh, you got Tatum and Edwards. I don't have either. I don't believe in Tatum and I don't believe in Edwards. I may be by myself on that, but I'm good with that. Machado says, uh, FD, uh, check the sub count. Did people unsubscribe? Yeah, man, we lost some people. So we got to 4,005, and I think now we're at 3,996. What I think the hell? All, I think it's all Luca people, man. When, when I say something about Luca, my Emma LeBron, my subscribers go down. That's wild, bro. But we'll yeah. get back. We'll get back, Machado. Why are they tripping uh, like that? Yeah, we got to go run the Sand Hill on PCH. I've done that before. JD, you ever ran that Sand Hill? No, I don't. Probably, I we might. I might start summer. doing it. I might start doing it. We should do that. But Chato, we should meet up with JD and do that this summer. A couple times. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's no joke. I've only gone thirty percent up, Machado. I've never gone up to the top. Uh, let's get some car people to go out there. And get some work in. Yeah, I'm with it. It's a challenge, JD, but you're going straight up a hill made of all sand. You Professional imagine? athletes run that. There are guys in the NFL that go out and run that. I've seen video of guys in the NBA going out and run that in the all season. It's no joke. That's so- yeah. But I know we're about to hit two hours. I always appreciate being on here. I'm actually mm-hmm. getting my win right now man. you know what i'm saying we start talking about caitlin clark you, know, you just gotta but, say you just gotta you just gotta say a certain word and fd does get triggered we start talking about j cole we start talking about kendrick he, he, now, I, I got a counter going on how long before we get out of here how long you think it's gonna be before we hear from drake probably like a month yeah i say i say at least two you may come out with something fourth of july once we forgot about all of us mm. Mm-mm-mm. He's too big. He gonna go to playoff games. He ain't writing lyrics. Oh, he ain't, he's not paying somebody to write for him. The summer is popping. We might see some athletes. To be honest, I'm I'm telling you, I think we will. Last summer, Trey Young. Yep, Trey Young was out there running. I saw that. Mm-mm-mm. He's leaving Atlanta, right? He's going to the Lakers. Where he going? That's what the, that's what everybody's saying. But we'll see how it goes. I don't think he's gonna leave. 
I mean, I don't think he's going to go to the Lakers. That's the word I was looking for. My question is, I'm not even thinking about him. Where's DeJounte Murray going? He's been balling since Trey Brown. He's been mm-hmm. playing well. But that only beat, time was Beat the, Milwaukee. Uh, excuse me, beat Boston. Hit the big shot over your boy. Yeah, he, had like, he, had, he shot 40 shots just to get 40 points. Come on. Yeah. Don't get on too much it's like Kobe Bryant, man. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't play. You know how I many shots Kobe shot to get 60? Yeah, well, at least he shot fifty percent. This dude shot like under forty. Yeah, but that's my, you know, that's modern day NBA. Mm, that's true. It was. I. I don't. I'm not saying it was a good game. I'm not saying it was a good shooting game. Let me say that he got the win though. Drake mm. gonna come out when it's too late. Yeah, he's gonna come out, man, way down the line. Yeah, Kendrick, you well, you ain't all that. Like what? Wait, wait. Oh yeah, you talking about Kendrick from back then? Crazy, funny stuff, man. Funny and hysterical stuff. Well, hey everybody, I appreciate y'all being here. You could be anywhere, but uh-huh. you're here. My child got one more. Do y'all who? I really don't play basketball anymore. I think when I pass, because I'm always afraid of an injury. I've known people, man, to get injuries that will affect them the rest of their life. Oh shoot! But I'm not trying to be on that list. I'll go watch. I used to go in the morning to the Mamba Academy to hoop. They had some runs going on, but haven't been there in a while. I try hey. not to play that. I try you not could, to play you that. could go play there? I didn't, know, I didn't know you could go play there. I think you could back in the day. W Street, love you guys. Love you too, Machado. But, uh, mm. yeah, I try not to play basketball, man. I've known at least three or four people, man. Knee surgeries. Popping Achilles. I'm not trying to do any of that. Look at this face. Not okay. trying to do any of that. None of that. Deep bro. So JD, what's the next card you're looking for, man? Talk to me. What's your strategy? What, what, where are we going? Um, what's the ballpark? Yeah. This this is Scotty Barnes, and then we'll see what happens. I'm not really trying. I'm chilling now. I'm not. I'm uh, chilling out, JD. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm I'm trying to probably build more relationships in the hobby. Uh, I picked up quite a bit of stuff that's going on in time. So I'm trying to, uh, and then I have a strategy for the back end of the year. Like when we get to Burbank, I'm going to be ready. Mm -hmm. But up until then, probably very small stuff, Deacon and Duncan for the most part. Uh, Trying to do more stuff this summer. Like I wanted to get Junior to the aquarium in Long Beach. I want to take them to the science center. We was just down there for um, LAFC. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to get Robert to both of those places too. It's just some stuff I want to get done in LA. I think one day we need to go to. Uh, I try not to say this too loud around around Junior, but we need to get to Universal Studios. Well, no Disneyland. Oh, uh, we may get to Disneyland, but we get to, need to get to Universal Studios. In Knoxbury, you know that's the, that's where young kids can move around. Hmm. And Junior hasn't been to either one. Damn. And his little friends, you know, they start talking about amusement parks. So he's like, "I won't go." He gets in the car, "I won't go." So that's that's a little bit of the stuff I'm gonna be on for a little bit. But uh, I still want to come. I want to go to the uh, bullpen show in May. I still want to do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Am I looking hard? Probably not. Uh, I'm probably like I saw one George Michael car. I want to post a picture of at the bullpen show. So I'll be looking, networking. But yeah, so that, I'm in the same boat. So let's just see how it goes. That's how I see it. I think it's. I kind of feel like it's going to be like that as I try to get cars on another level. Mm. It's going to be less less movement but when you do make a move it's gonna be material it's gonna be something nice so we'll see you know like we talking about joe was talking about cracking the slab you know jd and i are always taking some kind of risk on something to see if it passes that pans out try to be calculated but you still never know the only thing you know about are players that have retired yeah for sure 
throw anything you know about. So we got a few more comments here. Love chat. Let's keep it going. Uh, FD, you been to the City Valley car shop yet? No. What is that? This I've been to the City Valley car shop. I will look for that Machado. I've been to Northridge. I've been to City Valley. Yeah. Well, JD, man, I hope you have a good night to your family. We all said, "What's up over here?" Mm-hmm. Appreciate that. Tell her I said, "What's up too." Yes, sir. I'll so tell you. Yep. I'll see you. I'll see. You. I'll, t- I'll call you soon this week and see what's going on. All right. Yep. Yeah, Machado, please send me that page. I'll check it out. But JD, you have a good night. Everybody in the chat, have a good night. Thank you for being here. What's that flavor, y'all? <laughs>